As you settle into child's pose, notice the places in your body where you feel tightness. And notice the places in your body that you can invite some space and ease and expansion to. And if it's appropriate for you tonight, you can come into your ujjayi breath. Sealing the lips, breathing in and out the nose. Take one more breath in here. Pull pit of belly to spine and breathe into the back of the rib cage. And exhale, ground your hips towards your heels. Come up into tabletop. Plant your hands and knees into the mat and move through some spinal movements, whether it's cows and cats, whatever will feel good and honor what's needed in your body tonight. If you need to flip your hands over and stretch the back of your wrist, do that. Take two more breath cycles. Downward facing dog, walk your hands forward a few inches. You can bend one knee and bend the other. And notice the pull in of the inhale and the expansion the exhale allows the surrender. Send your right leg up in the air. Take any movement through the hip. You can bend the knee, roll it open. You can roll out the ankle. And switch sides. Walk your hands to the back of the mat towards your feet, ragdoll. Start to focus your eyes, whether it's internally or externally. It's the pull in with the core that creates the safety to allow for the surrender, the Ishvara Panadharma. Release the hands, you can toe heel the feet to touch. Roll up to extended mountain pose, inhale. And draw hands into heart center, exhale. Focus your eyes on the space where your middle fingertips connect or close your eyes. Make a dedication for the practice tonight. What can you be up to something bigger than yourself for in this practice? And we'll open with the sound of universal consciousness, three big ohms, inhale. Ah. 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 Deep breath in. As you breathe out, release your hands by your side, stand tall. Extended mountain pose, sweep your arms high overhead. Forward fold on the exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, inhale, sweep up. Forward fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in. High plank, breathe out. Hold the high plank. You can choose to lower the knees so that you can breathe. And use the inhales to pull in and the exhales to expand out. Take one more breath in. On your exhale, take low plank or no plank. Inhale through cobra or up dog. Press the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Downward facing dog, exhale. Reminder that this is your practice. So adapt in any ways, whether it's moving faster or slower or doing something completely different if your body's calling for it. Lift your heels, look forward. 
on the exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Flat back, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, inhale, sweep up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. High to low plank, breathe out. Feel your hands and feet into the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more sun salutation, A. Use your breath, move as slowly as you can. Breathe in and out powerfully. Lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, travel to the front of the mat. Flat back, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Pit of belly to spine, inhale, sweep up. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High to low plank, exhale. Alternate which foot you step back with. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Check in with your breath. Focus your eyes, concentration in this moment on your mat. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, travel to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, inhale. Chair pose on the exhale. Lift and spread your toes, pull belly button to spine. Focus your eyes to one thing, deep breath in. Sit a little lower, breathe out. Inhale here. Clasp your hands at your low back, breathe out. Press your knuckles back, breathe in. Keep the clasp as you bow forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, airplane the arms. Pull the shoulders back, high to low plank, breathe out. Adapt so that you can inhale through up dog. If you need to take another exhale here, do that. And downward dog to right foot forward, warrior one. Focus your eyes. Being up to something bigger than yourself in this practice by using your breath to create more space and attention in your body, deep breath in. Lunge a little deeper, breathe out. Inhale, reach up. Hide a low plank on your exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Press your feet down into the mat to rise up. Focus your eyes. Lift the front of the pelvis up towards the belly button. Draw the shoulders back. Take a deep breath in, reach up. Hide a low plank on your exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Do one more sun B, a little faster if you choose. Use the inhales and exhales to pull in and expand out. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, travel front of mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold, focus the eyes. Extended mountain pose, breathe in. Chair pose, breathe out. Stay for the inhale. Clasp hands at low back, exhale. Press the knuckles back, breathe in. Bow forward, keep the bind. Halfway lift, airplane the arms. High to low plank, exhale. See what you're looking at, upward dog. Downward dog, right foot forward, warrior one. Breathe in as you reach up. High to low plank on the exhale. Lift the front of the pelvis, upward dog. Downward dog, left foot forward, warrior one. Breathe in, focus the eyes. High to low plank, breathe out. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Empty out. Right leg forward, crescent lunge. I like to start with the back knee down so I can set up my pelvis alignment, pull the right hip back, lift the front of the pelvis up and stay with the knee down or lift up. Use the inhale to pull in, use the exhale to expand. That might look like going deeper. 
Might look like softening the shoulders, deep breath in. Twist to the right, breathe out. Either vertical twist or hook the elbow across. Focus your eyes, breathe in. Expand in the pose, breathe out. One more breath in. Twist, go deeper, breathe out. Crescent lunge on the inhale, warrior two on the exhale. Set your gaze to your front middle finger. Lift and spread your toes. Pull in, pit of belly to spine. As you exhale, expand, reach the fingertips further out. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. High to low plank on your exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, left foot forward, crescent lunge. Use your breath in the transitions. Pull the left hip back, lift the front of the pelvis up. Shoulders back. Steady your eyes. Pull in with the inhales and expand out. You might lunge deeper, reach taller. Take another breath in. Twist to the left, breathe out. Pull your shoulders up towards your ears, then pull them straight back as you look over the left shoulder. Take another breath in here. Lunge deeper, twist further on the exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Vishvara Pranidhana, surrender. The surrender might look like being okay with the heartbeat, at the pace it's going, or however the muscles are feeling as you pull in the air, pull in the belly button and lunge deeper, exhale. Reverse warrior for the inhale. High to low plank on the exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Focus the eyes. Check in with the hands and feet. Feel the surface beneath your hands and feet. Lift the heels, look forward. Exhale, travel to the front of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold a little deeper, breathe out. Extended mountain pose, inhale. Figure four, right ankle across the left thigh. Play with the breath here as you pull in deep with the inhales. Exhale, expand, whether that's sitting lower or pulling the shoulder straight back. Lift the crown of the head up. Take another breath in. Focus your eyes, breathe out. Flow through mountain pose, breathe in. Figure four, left ankle across, breathe out. See one thing. Observe your breath. Pull the pit of the belly into the spine, shoulders straight back. Take one more breath cycle in and out here. Extended mountain pose, breathe in. Standing leg raise, right leg up and to the right. Look over your left shoulder. And notice the wiggles and wobbles, surrender to them while you continue to pull in to create support with the belly button. Your choice from here, either dancer right leg back or airplane pose. So if you're feeling the quad stretch, do that or airplane pose. Kick the leg back for five, four, three, two, breathe deeply, expand, release, mountain pose, and standing leg raise, left leg up and to the left. And take your focus over your right shoulder, deep breaths, pull in, expand out. Come back to center and either dancer or airplane or a little bit of both. Deep breaths. Wherever you are, rotate the inner thigh of the lifted leg up towards the ceiling. Pull belly button to spine and see what you're looking at. Deep breath in. Four, three, two, one. Mountain pose, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. 
halfway lift, inhale. High to low plank, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right foot forward, warrior one, breathe in. Open to warrior two, breathe out. Straighten the front leg, breathe in. And triangle pose, breathe out. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Press the shoulder blades into the body. Two more breaths here. One more breath in here. See what you're looking at. Rise up to star pose, inhale. Into horse pose, heels in, toes out. Lift and spread your toes. Pull belly button to spine. Inhale as you pull in and exhale as you expand. Whatever the expansion looks like in the pose. Might be sitting lower, might be lifting the crown of the head up. Take one more breath. Star pose, breathe in, reach up. And face the front of your mat, breathe out. Pyramid pose. You can have hands on hips or clasp. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you fold. Take two breaths here. Focus your eyes. Play with the inhales, pulling in and the exhales expanding out. Twisting triangle, right hand high. Play with the pelvis and sense of bend your knees so that you can tip the pelvis forward here. One more breath in. Look further to the right, breathe out. High plank on your inhale. Low plank on your exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Straighten the front leg, inhale. Reach forward, triangle pose, exhale. Lift and spread your toes, notice your breathing. Be in discovery of how you can pull in to expand out. One more breath in here, empty out. Rise up, star pose. Right into pyramid pose on this side. Press the back heel down into the floor. You fold over your front leg. Only go as far into the pose as you can maintain your steady rhythm of breathing. One more breath in here, focus your eyes. Twisting triangle, left hand high. Press your feet down into the floor, feel the surface beneath your feet. And look further to the left. High plank on your inhale. No plank, lay onto your belly for Sphinx pose. Come onto the forearms. Lift the front of the pelvis up. Pull the shoulders back, pull the jawline straight back. So Ishvara Pranidhana asks us to surrender even in the challenging situations. One more breath in, breathe out. You can stay here or take locust or floor bow. Pass back bend from the belly. Squeeze the legs in towards each other. Kick back. One more breath in. Release down, breathe out. Come onto your knees for camel pose. You can put a block, the narrow 
width between the inner thighs. Lift the front of the pelvis up, go back. Squeeze the legs together. Breathe deeply, only go as far as you can use the, the breath to cause the expansion, not force. One more inhale, one more exhale. Squeeze the legs together to come up and come onto your back. We'll do 30 seconds of back bending. Set the timer to keep us on track. So you can either choose bridge pose or wheel pose or any variation thereof. Go for it, breathe. C, practice using the breath to create pulling in and expanding out. It might look different and feel different in each body. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come down. Either knock the knees in towards each other or take Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Fill up the chest and the belly. Exhale, let it go. Surrender. This is the moment of surrender between the next little challenge of core. So truly let your body go. Give the knee a little squeeze. Do a variation of yogi bicycle sit up. So bring your knees to chair pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring left elbow towards right knee. Option to extend the left leg. Come through center and try to lift the tailbone off the floor and set it back down and twist to the other side. Lift the tailbone in the center and then switch. Go for it, twist, then center, lift the tailbone and switch. Center with the tailbone. 20 more seconds. Breathe and focus the eyes. Use the breath to cause expansion or added depth. Last five seconds. Four, three, two. Hug the knees in. Big squeeze. Rock and roll up to a seated position for seated figure four. So bring the right ankle across the left thigh. To plant the hands behind the hips. And for added depth, it might start with just pushing your hips forward so you're on your sit bones. You could walk your hands closer in for added depth or slide your hips forward more. Focus your eyes as you breathe here. And you may choose to stay in this position if you're still feeling a good stretch. If you want some more stretch, take double pigeon. Inhale. And exhale. Be in discovery with the breath. You pause where you're at on the inhale. And then surrender and go a little deeper on the exhale. That little deeper might be one millimeter deeper. And pause on the inhale. Surrender a little more on the exhale. Yeah, that's it, Eloise. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Go a little deeper. Breathe in. Focus your eyes either internally or externally. Go deeper. One more breath cycle. And slowly come up, shake the legs out before we go to the other side. <laughs> Bring the left ankle across for seated figure four. And 
My body calls for a little bit of movement in the legs. I sway the legs side to side. But if stillness is what your body's craving, do that. Welcome to stay in seated figure four or come into double pigeon. The side of the body, this orientation of the body might feel different and stay in the practice of Vishwara Pranidhana, surrender. Pull the pit of the belly in towards the spine as you allow yourself to surrender into the sensation of the stretch. Notice if you get, as you go deeper, there's a moment of resistance. Notice that, breathe into it, and then exhale, let yourself surrender. Pause and breathe into it. Exhale, let yourself go. One more breath cycle. Slowly come up, shake the legs out. We'll take seated single leg extension, right leg forward, and left foot in. And you can either forward fold straight over the leg, or if you want a little side body stretch, you can turn sideways just a little bit. Focus your eyes. And see how you can pull in on the inhales and surrender to go deeper on the exhale. One more breath here. And switch to the other side. Notice where you feel the sensation, where you feel stopped, and then breathe into it, and then exhale, surrender. One more breath. Come up. Time to go upside down. So you could do waterfall, shoulder stand, headstand, handstand. If you're in waterfall, it's a full practice of surrender. If you're in shoulder stand or headstand or handstand, still be in the pull in with the core, with the inhales and the exhales. See where you can add depth. To everyone, the depth could look like actual letting go or it can look like expansion. One more breath cycle. Slowly come down onto your back. However you would like to wrap up your practice. So we're gonna do a supine twist. <coughs> Take a couple breaths on each side of the twist. Switch to the other side of the twist if you took it. Did you feel balance between the two sides of the twist? Come back to center. Or Shavasana, the pose that fully represents 
Ishvara Pranidhana, surrender. And set yourself up in a way where you can actually relax. If having your legs straight doesn't let you be in the space of surrender, you can bend the knees and knock them in towards center. You could also bring one heart, hand to heart, one hand to belly. Let your eyes drift closed. Come back to your normal natural breathing. And I'll bring us out together in about two minutes. The thoughts come up. See if you can let go of them and surrender to the space in between the thoughts. Take a deep breath in. Invite movement into your fingers and toes. Roll over to either side into a fetal position. Acknowledge yourself for doing the asana, the movement, mindful, focused. Breath. And slowly come up to a seated position and set yourself up for meditation. So whether that's sitting in a chair with your feet flat on the floor and a support between your low back and the seat. Get the app open. All right. And for the alternate nostril breathing tonight, if you need to breathe slowly in the left, out the right, or if you need to breathe faster, you can do that as well. All right. There we go. Start in the Switch in the right, out the left.
Release your hands. You can create palms down, palms up, or connect a finger. On your inhales, imagine a line of energy down the spine and the sound of so, and on the sound of hum, imagine a line of energy up the spine to the crown of the head, practicing surrender.
a deep breath in. As you exhale, surrender a little further. Anjali Mudra, touch your palms together. Prayer position. And we'll close with three big ohms. Inhale. Uh, oh. Put your thumbs to the middle of your forehead. May all beings everywhere be blessed with happiness and freedom. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives impact the happiness and freedom for others. In gratitude, we bow forward.